Carr and I'm here at the Cal softball field where the Cal women's softball team is set to take on the University of Washington in the first of a two-game series. Yesterday against UCLA, the Bears fell 7-2 and mustered only four hits against the Bruins starter Megan Langenfeld. They're looking for better results today against the Huskies. Now let's look at the action. 21 Cal getting introduced and they're about to take on number 22 Washington as we get set for action here and we'll go straight into the first deck. Marissa Drury in the circle for the Bears, and she faces Marnie Cozio here, gets her swinging, and that would be out number one of the first inning. One of six strikeouts on the day for Drury. Drury's counterpart, Caitlin Noble, in the circle for the Huskies, she would get a strikeout here. Nine strikeouts on the day for Husky pitchers. Moving to the second inning, Katie Vickers at the plate, pops the ball up, Alicia Blake throws to first base for the double play. We'd go to the third inning, still scoreless. After that defensive play, here's Alicia Blake at the plate, and she strikes out swinging. Amanda Fleischman now batting, and she will get a single there to the right side. She would steal second base with the next batter up, but she would not score, and we'd go to the bottom of the third, still scoreless. Sanoi Kekahuna up here, and she would single to right field. She'd be replaced by Savannah Hensley as a pinch runner, who would be Bunted over to second base, and she'll be in scoring position for Taylor Kelly, who comes up, fakes a bunt, and hits the ball deep into right field, into the bleachers for a two-run home run, her first of the season, putting the Bears up two to nothing. That would be it for Noble as Aaliyah Macon enters for the Huskies. She would come in and strike out Bernice Masani here to move the fourth inning. Bears still up two to nothing. Marissa Drury still pitching for Cal, and the Husky hitters would get to her with a single to score a run. Scored now 2-1 to one Bears, and on the next batter, there would be a double to score two runs, making the score 3-2 to two Washington. In a bases loaded jam with a score already 4-3, to three, the Washington pitching coach is out, and Macon throws that ball behind the plate, scoring another run for Cal, making the score 5-3, to three, and the fans are liking the action so far. Now going to the top of the fifth inning, Marissa Drury still pitching in the hit parade would start for the Huskies as that's an RBI double, scoring one run, making the score five to four. Another hit there for an RBI single, tying the score at five, and a third hit on the inning coming here will make the score six to five, and that would be the end of the scoring for the day as the Huskies win this game six to five. With the victory, the Huskies moved to 26-17 and one on the season. I talked to Diane Anmeyer and Taylor Kelly after the game. You just have to keep fighting the fight. We know that every day that we go in to play Pac-10, we're in for a great game. I mean, all these teams in the Pac-10 are great teams, and it comes down to one hit here or one error makes the difference. I think basically our main goal is to lay off the Reds ball that she has. Um, other than that, I think we're just trying to come out the same way we did before, like today, and. We're all really pumped to get back at him. So the Bears dropped this game in close fashion to Washington, losing 6-5. to five. Marissa Drury pitched seven innings and recorded six strikeouts while allowing five earned runs. The Bears dropped to 36-20 and 20 overall and 4-10 and 10 in the Pac-10, and will try to salvage a game against Washington here tomorrow on Senior Day, where Erica Racklin, Julie Meyer, and Katie Vickers will be honored. Reporting for CalTV, I'm Chris Carr.